as you saw in the other video, I was uh, not happy. The box on the top is almost identical in shape to the box that I bought, a white wax nuke box. Uh, it's a heavier duty box. If you recall, I said something earlier about getting an old vegetable box or a chicken box. Uh, that box on top is actually just a tad longer than the box on the bottom. So I will still have to cut somewhat of a slot but uh, I did learn a couple of things doing that bottom one that will help me with the top one. All right, continuing on the theme of uh, the old box being flimsy, you see I cut that up to get the uh, bridge to make the bridges that I wanted to make. I had the whiteboard here already; I had previously bought it. So, uh, if I had taken several layers of that cardboard and uh, taped them together or something, it probably would have done the same thing. But I'm 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 trying to save some time now. We're about to have some really warm weather here, and I want to get this thing outside. I decided to take some of that scrap uh, scrap foam core board that I had and uh, just make some shims to hold that in there. So I put some on both ends like that and uh, give this a pretty hefty shake now without those going anywhere. I mean you can you can see turning that up on end like that. There. I'm now holding that up off of the floor right there and you can see that those are not going anywhere in that other box there simply was no way to keep these still okay so here's where we find ourselves when I finished the last box and I realized that uh, it was time to put it out about the time I started really hating it I also realized that I hadn't put any lure in that so I was gonna have to figure out some way to get bee lure in there without tearing it apart. Uh, I was probably going to have to stick it in the front door and just wipe it around inside there. The, I made this bee lure with the, the fancy toothpaste tube of chopped up lemongrass I had and that's about, oh I don't know, a third of a cup of, uh, of regular vegetable oil. And all I've done is throw some q-tips in there and just let them soak because that uh, that way they're ready to go so I'm going to open this up now these are these are wet from end to end after after wicking that stuff up through there I'm going to stick this in here I'm going to run that down a couple of those bars like that and now I'm just going to take this and chunk it in there. Now, 
I read things that said that you could do this, you couldn't do this, you can't make your own bee lure. Uh, like much that goes on in the world, most of the people that said you couldn't make bee lure were people that had something to sell, or at least that was my impression anyway. Okay, so let me pull this out of here and show you how I cut that. It's uh, basically just cut in the shape of an H, like that, and uh, and badly at that. My, not an H. Well, it's an H this way, and it's an I like that. So, hi everybody. So that just goes in there, and when you lay it down, the slots all uh, all marry together. It makes a nice little B porch. Uh, one thing I have learned is they would prefer to have somewhere to land as opposed to landing on the edge of something. One of the things I was worried about on doing any of this was uh, the possibility of bees getting in and out of uh, the top of just a, a crosshatched box like through that. So what I've done to, uh, to basically make like a, a bee filter is I've taken some of these green scrubby pads, cut in half, and just wedged in the, in the uh, opening there. Uh, it should be tight enough here, like underneath here and on the same place on that other side over there that uh, bees can't get underneath there. I have put those in there and I've got them end to end and I've got them jammed down in there as far as they'll go. They fit almost perfectly to do what I needed and uh, that's basically a, a, an air filter for bees. It'll keep the bees from getting in the top of the box. It'll keep uh, bees from coming and going out of the, out of the top of the box. The last thing I've got to do is put the plastic on there and put the uh, end gutters on so that the ends of the boxes don't get wet. And uh, that's probably the next picture you're going to see is going to be that box with all the plastic on it ready to go out the door. So there it is. Finished. My baby. As you can see, I've taken the uh, old-fashioned antique idea of taking pictures of a first new baby on a sheepskin rug. I know that I'm not rich. I know that I don't live on Knob Hill, but so that's it. That's the end of it. You've seen the videos. Now you've seen the actual box. The next trick will be getting it outdoors and getting it hung in a tree. And uh, we'll just have to wait for that because I don't have any help to get me down the hill across the creek, find a tree, and all that kind of stuff today. Everybody in my family is tied up. Anyway, that's it. Uh, questions, anybody? Uh, send them through the either our group website, you know who you are, or ask them right here on the, uh, on the YouTube, as uh, some of the older people among us say. Y'all have a good one. That's Steve-O signing out. No more for me about the cheap SOB swarm box. Not until we have bees in it anyway. <laughs>